Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to have another home brew review. This is my base Porter 60L with chocolate malt and uh, D Hus Carafa 2. Uh, five or 4.5% ABV. This was bottled on 3-22-21, I believe. Um, I didn't look anything up. I've just been grabbing them, putting them in there. <clears throat> baseball's over, so now I have time. I'm getting back into that home brew uh, just with baseball. I don't have any time to brew. Um, but I did do, I think it was, I should have looked it up. It was something with the D Hus Carafa one. The smells weren't there, but also that was a lower ABV also. And I think the um, what I noticed that D Hus Carafa isn't going to bring a lot of sweetness um, or sugar to the beers, so your ABV is going to be a little bit lower. When I did do uh, the 16, 17 beers that I did brew in this Porter series, I tried to keep everything the same. And I know with the D Husk, because that is a high or a darker SRM, I put less in there, but I don't think it's bringing a lot to the table as far as sweetness because it's kiln so long. Um, I believe that's why these are a little bit lower in ABV. Um, so should we see more sweetness? Should it be drier? We're going to find out. So let's go ahead and get this open. This is using four of the small pearl carbonation tablets. We'll see if this one's overcarbed. I'm going to say it is. Um, if it's true, it, the higher the ABV, the less sugar that's going to be in there. And obviously this is over a year old. So we should see more sugar in there. So the yeast has had more time to prime the beer. So we should be overcarbed. I hope. Let's go ahead and open it. Big hiss. Lots of smoke. It's not. <clears throat> it could be that Dijas Carafa. I was for sure because um, the first two that I tried, they were both over carb uh, porters. Uh, this one seems like it does have carbonation to it, just not as much. It almost seems right. Uh, but the first two that I did uh, were over carbed, and then these final three haven't been. So I was thinking the higher the ABV, the less sugar that's going to be in the beer. The, so the longer you can almost let it sit without a bottle bomb because the yeast don't have any more sugar to eat. Um, but, and I was thinking 4.5, there's going to be sugar in there. Um, and yeah, we're going to get a uh, overcarbed beer, but obviously not. Heads dissipating. So... This should be pretty much a uh, stout level in color. I would say yes. Um, here's the last one I did. <clears throat> so D Hus Carafa 2 is going to be dark, just like that. Uh, this is chocolate malt and chocolate rye. Let me get this bottle out of here. So this one's chocolate um, malt and chocolate rye. Hopefully you can see a difference. I can't see it in the camera, but I can definitely see it. More stout versus dark brown with dark red amber hues on the side. Okay, so we know that Dijas Carafa 2 is going to make it dark. Is it supposed to be used in stout or in porters? Probably not. You know, you, you still want that brown color, that dark brown color in your porter. If you want to go deeper, uh, more acidic, dark roasted malts, obviously you're going to go to a porter. Let's go ahead and taste, or smell. I'm jumping ahead. Sweeter chocolate coffee, uh, lower smell, but I think that, I want to say there's sweetness in there. Like that, that chocolate malt is bringing more sweetness, maybe also because of the 4.5% ABV, you're getting a little bit more sweetness on top of that. Like sweeter, not that big of sweetness, not pastry style. But a sweeter chocolate roasted, not just roasted malt. Not really coffee. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I would say roasted sweet chocolate in there, but not pastry. It's still good. Let's go ahead and taste. That is smooth. Carbonation is good. Hmm. There is some sweetness in there. Um, roasted malt. I wouldn't even say coffee. Aftertaste, city roast, lighter coffee. A little sweetness in there. This one is more stout-like, maybe a little smoother, almost like, I almost want to say if you put oats in there just to make the body slicker, that's kind of what this is bringing. Yeah, it's almost like there's something in there to make it very smooth. I almost want to say I don't I don't I almost want to say bitter coffee in the aftertaste now. But as the palate warms up more, it let's go bitter sweeter chocolate. Almost like eating a cocoa nib or something like that. Like at first, it might be bitter, but you might get some sweetness in there. Huh. The body on this is good. I think the carbonation is good. Um, the ABV is probably a little low. Even though I've been saying in all these, if you've been following it, I like my porters 5.5 below. And I think in two reviews ago, I said down to 4.5. Um, I don't know. I guess I'm contradicting myself. I think this is definitely more stout. Um, I, I think those tastes are a little bit, it's not watery. I mean, I think in a porter, you'll get a little bit more watery uh, tasting notes in there because it's a, it's a lighter ABV beer. And also you don't have the big, bold SRM malts in there. And I think that, Crafa 2 takes it over the hump just a little too much into that porter category, at least for me. Yeah, I would say uh, a lighter stout. Um, like, if somebody, again, almost like the olden days with porters, if somebody wanted a bigger, bolder taste, but they wanted it to be lighter in ABV, this is what you would make. Um, just use a higher SRM malt, and you could bring out those stout flavors, uh, but still drink like a porter at 4.5. Would I brew this again? I think I would. Just as a standard drink, is it, it's almost like I compared one of the other ones to. If you drink co coffee in the summer, that's kind of just like this. Just more roasted coffee, some chocolate in there. I, I think it's good. I would definitely brew this again. So if you enjoyed this review, check out some more homebrew videos over here. And until next time, cheers.